Deep in the Ocean, written by Natalie Rumpella. Focus question. How would you describe the deep ocean and what lives there? Deep underwater. Imagine taking a trip to the deepest part of the ocean. What kinds of things would you expect to see? Would it be dark or light? Would the water be clear or cloudy? Would it be warm or cold? Would you find strange new animals and plants? Sunlight warms the surface or shallow parts of the ocean down to about 200 meters, 656 feet. Plants and animals that need sunlight and warm water live there, such as dolphins and sharks. Deep in the ocean, other animals, including squid and viperfish, live in water that is cold and dark. Diving Deep in the Ocean The deep ocean, below 1,000 meters, 3,281 feet, is freezing cold. The weight of water or water pressure below 39.6 meters 130 feet can harm you. Sport divers wear air tanks filled with a mixture of gases for safety. Deep divers wear a special hard diving suit to protect them from the water pressure. For really deep dives, groups of two or three scientists ride in a small submarine called a submersible. Oceanographers Scientists who study the ocean are called oceanographers. They often live for months on a ship and work seven days a week. Some study what a sea animal eats and where it lives. Others study the ocean water itself. All of them have to understand biology and chemistry. Biology is the study of living things. Chemistry is the study of what things are made of. Using satellites for tracking. Satellites can help to track sea animals' travels. Scientists tag some animals with electronic sensors. A satellite can track the signal from the tag on the animal's fin or back. Tracking the signal shows where the animal goes. Counting the sea animals. What types of animals live in the ocean? Where do they live? How many are there? Oceanographers studied and counted animals for 10 years to learn the answers. They looked at all the world's oceans, from the North Pole to the South Pole. The surprising report is called the Census of Marine Life. Released in 2010, it contains information from more than 540 different groups of researchers. The Census of Marine Life The first surprise was where things lived. Everywhere, in all water levels and temperatures. Marine species lived in the hottest and coldest places in the oceans. Some species lived in deep places without light or oxygen. Another surprise was how many new species were discovered. More than 1,200 new marine species have been described. Living in hot and cold water. 
The very cold, deep ocean zone has hot volcanoes in it. The water temperature at a volcano can be 400 degrees Celsius, 752 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to melt lead. Some species of shrimp, crabs, worms, and bacteria live in this very hot water. These animals use sulfur to live rather than sunlight. Huge groups of Arctic sea life were also found living in freezing water. Some species of squid, cod, and jellyfish live under solid ice that is 700 meters, 2,296 feet thick. Many of these species slow down their movements to save energy so they don't freeze. What did we learn? Scientists learned that life is even more adaptable than they had originally thought. Animals living in the deep ocean have found ways to survive in harsh environments. These environments are places where it would be impossible for most other species to survive. The Marine Census counted more than 230,000 species. More than 6,000 new species had never been seen before. Some creatures were see through. Some had warning lights that turned on and off. Others had long feelers instead of eyes. Some had teeth so long that they overlapped their jaws. Some made their own antifreeze to stay warm. What else lives in the deep ocean? Scientists keep finding new species and new facts. The more they look, the more they find. They think that only one fourth of all marine life has been counted. Only some of those species have even been described yet. There are many more surprises to come. Explore more. To learn more about the census of marine life, a decade of discovery, go to its website at www.coml.org. Each week, new discoveries are added to the Marine Census Project using a map on Google Earth. www.comlmaps.org slash census hyphen on hyphen Google hyphen Earth. On the Internet, search terms such as deep sea species, nudibranch, blind lobster, or NASA oceanography. Connections Writing. Would you want to be an oceanographer when you grow up? Why or why not? Write a paragraph using details from the text to support your answer. Science. Choose and research an animal that lives in the deep ocean. Create a poster. Include a picture and at least five interesting facts about the animal. And its habitat.